it's back this time I'm changing a bunch of stuff on it yes this is the same one that I did a uh, wired camera never do that again did some other work on it before this time I'm doing uh, putting a new inverter in solar panel resealing roof adding lithium batteries a few other odds and ends things I'm doing on here fun stuff placing vent adding micro air soft start I'm using the Henry's tropical gonna reseal the whole roof I'm going up to the drip rail all the way down on this and replacing the refrigerator vent where that is cracked This little Mickey Mouse thing here is gone. That damn thing's pointless. But as you can tell, before I seal the roof, I've got to really clean it up. Uh, will they use a turn of bond? i got to clean that off. We already have one solar panel on here. I'm going to be pulling that off because we got three other panels coming on. Batwing antenna. It's going bye bye. It's going to go fly away. Uh, we're doing away with that bat wing and going to seal that up because we need that space for the panels. He don't use that. So it's going to go no problem. Like I said, that panel, we're going to pull that one off, put three up here. This one may go back up here. It all depends on how everything goes. Uh, if that don't work, I have two smaller panels that I can use uh, up there. So we're going to uh, work on that. Now on this one, we're going with a 24 volt system. So therefore, that solar panel already goes to its own charge controller that we have that I put in here before so that is going to go for the house batteries the two lithiums that i'm putting in here that's going to be completely independent it's going to be running the inverter it's an inverter charger it's going to get tied in but the two systems are not being tied together if that makes any sense 12 volt side they're not or low voltage side they're not getting tied together so that way all he retains all his 12 volt functions of everything and then the inverter is strictly 24 volt running off the lithium now where he wanted to put the batteries uh, it will not work he wanted them inside on the other side of the coach well everything's on this side here well that's a a lot longer run on cable probably three to four hundred dollars more just in that extra wire so we're going to actually put them over here i'm probably going to have to build a, another floor for this like i've done in others build another floor support the weight of everything the invert there's already inverter in here but i always feel more comfortable adding a another floor into it kind of make it a little bit stronger what he has is the chans 300 amp hour batteries uh, we're going to run these in 24 volt setup then we're going to get wired in that other panel is also going to go to the 24 volt setup as well so change this changing everything around in here 50 amp is going to be gone this is no longer going to be a 50 amp coach it's going to be a 30 amp uh, he says most of the time he's going to be plugged in with a little cord so he don't use this for the sewer hose so i set him up with a twist lock here to plug in 
Uh, he says normally he's just going to run a, a small extension cord, but he'll be able to get a 30 amp twist lock to put in there as well. He has a Magnum hybrid 4000 watt inverter, 24 volt, that we're going to be putting in here. Plenty capable of running everything. The generator runs everything. This will do the same thing. So, just a little bit of changes that we've got to do right here. It'll be good. So what I'm trying to do is get everything organized, figure out where everything's going to set. He is also going to be adding two more batteries later. So I took in consideration, I already marked where the other two batteries are going to come for my length. I've got to measure my height. So I've got to get this board fastened in. I've got the box actually bolted to the frame this whole box is bolted to the frame because it was sagging down a half inch just because of this inverter alone so now this box on the back side is bolted to the frame i got three quarter inch plywood here i got two by twos going around the whole exterior that helps tie everything in and keep everything rigid so we got it all in and now I just got to start putting everything in. Uh, up on the roof, I'm going to use some uh, Dawn soap and some LA's Totally Awesome. I got two gallons of that. Make sure we get that thing cleaned. And we have five gallons of Hemry's Tropical Wife Root Coating. Uh, this stuff here is good on RVs and stuff. So let's get to uh, cleaning the roof. I have the three new panels on fastened down all hooked up and his 300 watt in and hooked up so we have uh, 330 watts each so there's 990 there and this is a little over 300 so we're right at uh, 1300 watts total on here now these three panels are tied on their own charge controller and this one is on its own charge controller and the roof I have two coats of Henry's here on the roof Dicor on all the seams and then Henry's around everything so this roof is sealed we replaced the refrigerator vent the other one was broke so we put him a new one on it was all busted and brittle replaced that that was uh that was a, a no bueno you know no, it had to go let me show you the basement this coach used to be 50 amps why i don't know single air conditioner small coach my rv is bigger than this i run more in my rv than he does in this so what we did is we dropped this down from a 50 to a 30. One thing that I did, transfer switch, or replace the transfer switch. I have my generator coming in. This goes out to the breaker box. This is my new shore power cord. As you can tell, this used to be a sewer hose, but I put a twist lock in there. This cable is easier for him to deal with. He said normally that's all he's going to be plugged in is just this. So we just used that. That other cord was like this big around. It was huge, thick, heavy. So we converted it over to the 30. Works good with everything. I have everything all completed. We went ahead and got the other batteries. I got them in here. And hooked up uh, changed him over to a 30 amp connection so I've got him a 30 amp transfer switch I got the Magnusine hybrid 4000 watt inverter in I've got the DC to DC controller 
I have this single panel charge controller, three panels on that charge controller. I have the battery shunt, terminal blocks, the charge controller breakers. That there is part of the shunt. I had to think for a minute. We have the generator uh, auto start feature on here. So when the voltage gets so low, generator kicks in, go ahead and cranks up and it charges these batteries here. So we got all four of them in here, got them fastened down and all this is done. I've got the panels here on their own breakers. So the 300 watt panel and the three other panels so I got 990 on this one 300 on that one so everything's all done on this now another thing I've done on this coach here is I put these vents in I've got this here sealed up so we've got the screen on there to keep bugs out and here on the outside you can see I have the vents this is what he wanted now he's also going to be ordering some fans we're going to put them on at a later time so we're going to have some exhaust fans on here and some circulation fans now that he's all done i'm glad of that he's happy everything's working going to do a little bit of changes he ordered some other stuff we're going to be changing in a later video so with everything done that's a wrap for me questions or comments please like and subscribe give me that thumbs up I will see you all in the next video.